Hey guys, it's Chris. From the kings of the ocean to sneaky sea monsters, here are eight of the most dangerous fish in the world. Number eight, Bahamas saw shark. There are a few animals in the ocean that have what you might call odd names because they have traits that resemble man-made items. But the Bahamas saw shark is much rarer and arguably much more unusual. You see, its massively flat and long nose is very much like a saw, as it has loads of sharp spikes on it. With this appendage, it digs into the ground to find its prey, and then it'll rip them up with the spikes. But how does it find its prey? It's not sight as you might expect. Rather, the Bahamas saw shark lives over a thousand feet below sea level, which means there really isn't any light for them to use. Instead, if you look to their snouts, you'll see two whisker-like things attached to them and coming down. These are their barbels, and they use them to detect movement and light on the ground. And once detected, their snouts go to work. In terms of size, the Bahamas saw shark is only about five feet long, and given its depth, you'll likely never run into one. But should you do so, you'll want to avoid it in case you provoke it to using its saw-like nose. One final fact, in the known world, there's only one other fish that resembles the saw shark. It's called the sawfish. They're very similar in body type, but the sawfish doesn't have barbels, so it is very easy to get them confused. Number seven, pufferfish. The pufferfish is a very deceptive kind of fish, one that looks like it won't hurt you, but it most certainly will. The reason for this is honestly rather simple. The pufferfish has a toxin that is feared all over the world. It's called tetrodotoxin. This fish is literally infused with it from top to bottom, gill to gill. So the slightest touch of this fish on your skin will leave you dead in basically no time flat. This is part of where the illusion of the pufferfish comes in. Because when calm, the pufferfish looks like just a regular fish. But when threatened or spooked, it'll inflate itself into its ball form. One that protrudes a bunch of spikes meant to ward off prey and onlookers. Those spikes are what you want to avoid at all costs. To truly understand just how dangerous this fish is, it's full on illegal to bring these fish into most of the countries in the world. And the reason for this is that while you can eat the fish, you have to know how to do so without leaving any of the poison in it as you cook it. And that's really hard to do. In fact, only chefs in Japan are skilled enough to do it. So regardless of whether it's in the ocean or potentially being served to you as a meal, you would be wise not to mess with this fish. Number six, electric eel. The electric eel has not one, but three different organs in its body that can produce an electric charge. One of the few animals in the world that can honestly do that naturally. When it releases said charge, it can either stun or kill its prey depending on its intent. In fact, it's stated it has enough of an electric charge to potentially kill a full-grown adult human. And this is because it can discharge people with 500 volts of electricity, though it should be stated that other cases just have it to where the human is stunned so much that they drown in the body of water the electric eel is in. So context is truly key here. Before you decide to go and start looking out for these eels, they live in the Amazon River and the Orinoco River in South America. So unless you live near there, you're likely never going to see one, so you'll be fine. But because of its electric power, it is one of the most dangerous things that resides there. Which is really saying something given that piranhas, sharks, and other venomous things live in those areas as well. Because its body is long and fluid, you likely won't even notice that the electric eel is near you before it's potentially too late which is why they're very effective hunters of prey they like to eat. Plus, because of their shock, it can be used offensively or defensively, making it a creature that attacks and defends depending on the need or circumstance. Number five, lionfish. The lionfish is one of the most deadly creatures in the ocean, and it doesn't try to hide this in any way as its fins are incredibly toxic and able to kill all sorts of life in the oceans as well as to any humans that happen to get on its range. Just on the base level, getting stung by them will inject their toxins into the body and cause extreme pain, nausea, vomiting, fear, breathing difficulties, convulsions, dizziness, redness on the affected area, headaches, numbness, heartburn, diarrhea, and sweating. In the worst cases, they can cause limb paralysis, heart failure, and even death, though these cases are rare. Thus, not unlike the lions on the land, humans are advised to stay very far away from lionfish, else face the consequences. 
Number four, Goliath tigerfish. In Africa, in the murky waters of the Congo River and Lake Tanganyika, there is a fish that is so powerful, so terrifying, that it's said in local legends that an evil spirit resides within the fish and compels it to attack humans. This is the story of the Goliath tigerfish. Because of their razor sharp teeth and the fact that they can hunt in groups without issue, they're known as the African piranha. However, there are a few things that set this particular fish apart from its cousins. First, they're bigger. They can get up to five feet in pure length, which is not something you want to deal with if they are indeed hunting in a pack. Second, while piranha prefer to hunt injured animals, Goliath tigerfish have no such limitations. They'll go after humans, crocodiles, and they'll even launch out of the water to catch a bird that just so happens to be flying overhead. As if all of that's not enough to put fear in a person, their teeth are not just numerous, they got 32 of them to be exact, but they have teeth that are about the same size as that of a great white shark. Number three, piranhas. When people think of the piranha, they usually picture the teeth of a small fish that'll devour just about anything they deem edible. What truly makes them dangerous though is that they're rarely alone. They prefer to hunt and eat in swarms so that when they're done, there's nothing left but bones thus making them one of the most aggressive and merciless things in the waters on Earth. What many forget, though, is that they get up to two feet in length at times. Thus, a swarm of them can truly go and eat just about anything at any length without much issue. The catch, though, is that while they can attack humans, they usually don't. Why this is reveals their true personality in terms of hunting and killing. Piranha prefer prey that is weak in various ways. That way, they can't resist the swarm descending on them and killing them. When a human falls in the water, it's usually on accident. And barring a lot of bites quickly, they can usually get out of the water and away from the swarm. An important thing to note is that not all the piranha species are full-on meat eaters. Some are actually herbivores, and some are omnivores. And yes, there are some meat eaters purely, like the red-bellied piranha, which are the most dangerous of them all. But this mislabeling of them has helped increase their legend as rabid animals when they're honestly not. That being said, piranhas are very well organized. They signal to each other when prey is weak, and they'll even share the food with others so that everyone gets a bite. When you add all of this up, you have a very capable fish that has grown to mythic proportions alongside sharks and certain other creatures of the water. Number two, stonefish. The stonefish is almost unquestionably the most venomous fish on the planet, and one of its key physical attributes is that it likes to camouflage itself into its environment which makes it not only a dangerous predator, but very easy to get close to if you're not paying attention. Though to be clear, the venom within this mighty fish is what you should fear above all other things. It's not only lethal depending on how much you get, it's one of the most painful toxins in the world. For context, when injected with other poisons and toxins, pain is almost assured. But in this case, the pain is so much that they may have said they'd rather lose the limb that is infected with the venom rather than wait for the anti-venom. And just think about how much pain that would have to be to make someone say that. The stonefish loves to be on the floor of the ocean it's on, and it'll just blend in with the natural plant life and inanimate objects and just wait. And then when something steps on it, it'll strike with its 13 poison-filled spines. But there's a problem with that too. The other reason that the stonefish are so feared is that they don't live in the depths of the ocean. They actually prefer very shallow waters. And thus, they're a major threat to people who like to observe the shallower reaches of the ocean and certain beaches. The only bright spot in this particular situation is that the stonefish is found mainly in Australia. Thanks to the study of the fish, the authorities and medical personnel are ready for people who get stung by them. No one in the region has died from a sting by the stonefish in about a hundred years. Though that shouldn't lower your fear of it, because you can't get cured if you're stung at a place that they can't get to you quickly. Number one, sharks. While somewhat cliche, there is little doubt to many that sharks are indeed the most dangerous fish in the world, which is somewhat odd because many people forget that sharks are indeed fish. But regardless of their classification, sharks are dangerous when provoked, when not provoked, when startled, when one infringes on their territory, and so on and so forth. Sharks are known to attack humans for little reason or no reason at all. Granted, despite urban legend and all manner of movies saying otherwise, sharks don't really actively seek out humans to hunt or prey upon. Usually it's a mixture of circumstances that lead to an attack. But the fact remains that attacks happen, and they're well documented. Depending on the shark species, they have teeth that can literally rip you in half within a few seconds, or at the very least cause severe damage to a limb, your body, 
or whatever it gets a hold of first. Plus, there's no real deterrent for sharks. And since they can strike without warning, an attack can be quick and deadly before anyone is wise to what's going on. And though the great white shark gets the credit as the most dangerous shark, there are various other species that are just as dangerous. The tiger shark, bull shark, even nurse sharks attack humans somewhat regularly. With all these various kinds of sharks that can strike out at humans, it's little wonder humanity holds them up as the most dangerous creatures in the water, as well as host various television weeks dedicated to their honor. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this look at some of the most dangerous fish in the oceans? Have you ever had an encounter with some of these creatures before? What's the scariest encounter you've ever had while in a body of water? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and we'll see you next time on the channel.